morning everyone welcome back to another vlog today i've got some beauty empties to share with you um, for the month what i finished the little products that i finished and also i've got some pr comments so i'll do the unboxing with you today so very interesting very exciting things to show you today in this vlog i hope you enjoy it so i'll share with you the pr box i've just received from this beautiful korean skincare brand which is one of their favorite, favorite uh, best selling products. So it is the Haru Haru Wonder. It comes with this beautiful pouch. So they send me to try their Black Rice Hyaluronic Toner Rice Extract. I think it's one of the best selling products. I cannot wait to try it. And this is what the bottle looks like. It looks like it has some, some uh, extracts floating around the toner. I don't know if the camera picks it up. It's so lovely. Very, very nice. I love the packaging. It's plastic, but it looks very, very lovely. I cannot wait to try it. And then they send some supples as well to try, some different things to try. So the first thing they send me is the Black Rice Moisture uh, Daily Sunscreen with SP50. And then another sunscreen is the Black Rice Pure Mineral a daily sunscreen with SPF 50, so two different types of sunscreen, a cleansing oil, moisture, black rice, cleansing gel, and also their cleansing oil. So this is the nice little samples they send me. Uh, this toner is amazing. And let's have a little look at the leaflet they provided for me, all about the essence. It's a daily boost for your skin. If you need extra hydro boost, use our toner with a few drops of black rice facial oil. You will definitely get your own healthy glow. I cannot wait to try that. And on the back of the leaflet, you've got all the toner obviously here and all the products that the brand uh, Haru Haru Wonder produces. I cannot wait to try the brand. First time I'm gonna try them, I'm gonna, when I do try them, I'll let you know how what I think of them. Very happy, very excited about this PR packaging from, from them. I cannot wait to try. This one's the products of Korean skincare brand that I wanted to try. I wanted to buy with my own money, so I'm quite excited to give this a go and let you know later on some point in my videos how I get on with the products. So that was the quick PR unboxing, guys. So this is our my empties. I'm gonna share with you today what I finished quite briefly. So first of all, let's start with the Pai Terry Hyaluronic uh, Hydra Concealer. It was really nice, as you can see, it's all gone. It's really, it was really lovely, very creamy, very beautiful concealer. So I highly recommend it if you have uh, mature skin, dry skin under your eyes. It never settles in the, you know, on the fine lines. It's so pretty, so lightweight. It covers the dark circles. It's just an amazing brightening concealer, very hydrating. Absolutely loved it. Definitely thinking of repurchasing this concealer. Then I've got finished the Salo Tipoli Setting Spray, the Air Brush Flawless Setting Spray. I love this one, it's just a nice, a holy grail for me. At the moment I'm using the Urban Decay that I recently received quite a few of them. So before I finish them, I'll definitely gonna repurchase this as well. So for the moment I don't because I have the Urban Decay, they're quite nice as well. Next we've got the body of the Banana, shampoo that was lovely but it wasn't anything groundbreaking that i have to you know buy it again but it was nice cleansed my hair beautifully lathered nicely uh, but i'm not sure if i'll buy the full size maybe maybe not um, it's just an okay shampoo for me next i've got the monovitska the hungary queen of hungary mist this is one of my repurchases time after time it's beautiful, the bottle is glass, it's very beautiful. The spray, it means like a fine setting spray, uh, refreshing spray as well. Before, after makeup, I use it in my skincare routine. So it's a all-rounder, a very, very nice setting spray. Absolutely love the scent as well. It's so, so nice. One of my favorite uh, face mists. So definitely this will be a repurchase. I've got quite a few bottles of it already. Then we've got the Salute Tilbury, the Pussa Pus Plushies. That was a really nice mascara. Uh, just an everyday kind of mascara for me. Um, it was okay, so for that reason I'm not gonna repurchase it. It's not something that I was wowed about it, but it was just a nice mascara to use. 
Next one we've got another mascara sample from Chanel, the Le Volume Mascara. Uh, this is my holy grail, so definitely this is a repurchase day, time after time. And I love using, you know, travel size for when I travel. So this is definitely a purchase for me. Then we've got the Laneige, the Water Sleepy Mask. This was really, really lovely, very lightweight, perfect for the summer. I enjoyed it in my summer holiday, the last bit of it, it was really lovely on the skin and it's really really nice so I highly recommend this and definitely I'm gonna be buying it because I love the texture, very lightweight, perfect for the summer days uh, so definitely maybe spring, summertime I'll repurchase this next we've got from Biosuns we've got the Squalene the Lactic Acid Treatment Resurfacing uh, Night Serum which was really really lovely I love the packaging, it's quite handy, quite lovely, so it's very exfoliating on my skin, leaves me a healthy glow afterwards, so it's really nice brand Biosan, so I really enjoy the products and definitely I'm thinking of repurchasing in the future at some point. Next we've got an LMA's Pro Collagen uh, Marine Cream, which is beautiful on the skin moisturizing I love the scent it's not the texture of the cream it's not super light it's not super thick it's just beautiful uh, texture and I love the results how moisturizing my skin feels it's a all year round uh, beautiful moisturizer for me I'm definitely gonna be purchasing that uh, for sure then I've got a Jo Malone fig and lotus uh, flower cologne this was really nice, let me remind myself. It was really nice, first time I've tried this uh, combination, I really enjoyed it. Um, very lightweight, it doesn't last maybe three hours, I would say maximum on my skin, so it's not the most uh, longevity wise, but I really, really enjoyed the scent. It was really refreshing. So maybe springtime, I would say, thinking of repurchasing this perfume, definitely I enjoyed it. So this is the Queen, the Seated Queen Cold Cream. This was my cleanser. This is the second uh, travel size I've used. This cleanser is beautiful. It's so lovely. It cleanses my skin beautifully and it also leaves it very moisturizing afterwards. It's not stripping at all. It's just so, so pretty. Loved it and I'm definitely gonna be buying the full size. And then we've got the last two products is uh, hair products. The Malin and Goes, this is the hair conditioner and you've got the shampoo. This was just an okay product for me. It cleanses my, conditions my hair very well, but it's nothing that I was wild about. So it was just an okay shampoo, so I'm not gonna be purchasing that. So that was my empties, guys. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'll share with you briefly my beauty empties of this month. Let's see uh, how pretty are these colors. leave this vlog here i hope you did enjoy it if you did make sure you like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next vlog or video see you soon bye for now